In previous video, we have seen this is the simple circuit of open as comparator. And then we have seen a practical application of temperature based cutoff circuit using IC741. Where we are using this OPEMP IC741 as a comparator and providing cutoff based on the temperature reference. But now in this video, we are going to compare triangular and sinusoidal waveform with the reference signal and check out the output. So first of all, let me explain you what is the difference in this comparator circuit and the previous comparator circuit that we have already understood. Over here, we are giving two DC signals using two separate DC source. And next, we have used this resistor as a temperature sensor and this resistor as a reference of temperature. And we are giving same 12 volt supply to this op amp as well as to the sensors. And in this video, what change we have made? We have used one function generator. This function generator you can get it from this toolbar. And another terminal we are giving a constant 2 volt of supply. VEE is 5 volt and VCC is minus 5 volt. So this is what the setup of our op amp as comparator circuit. Through this function generator we can generate triangular and sinusoidal and square wave. So what we are going to do first we give triangular wave and we will observe the output and then we'll give sinusoidal wave and we'll observe the output. Basically, what this comparator does, it compares both the input signal given to the inverting and non-inverting terminal of this IC. It will generate output according to the which input is higher than the other. For example, if non-inverting terminal's input is higher than the inverting terminal, then it will give positive saturated output or else if the inverting input is higher than the non-inverting input then it will give negative saturated voltage in output. In the simplest term if I explain then if the input at negative terminal is higher than the positive terminal then we will get negative saturated voltage in output. Instead of this if the signal of positive terminal is higher than the negative terminal then the positive saturated voltage will get in the output. So this is the simplest form of comparator. Now we will run the simulation and observe what will be the output when we compare a DC signal with triangular one. Hey man, before moving ahead, I want to tell you that if you want to download the simulation circuit to practice and to understand, then I will tell you how to do it in this video. So stay tuned to this video and I will tell you how to download the simulation circuit. Okay, so now before running the circuit, let me make few changes. Uh, this triangular wave, I will keep it as red color only. But this DC reference, I am going to change the color. So from the segment color, I will make it uh, dark green. So it is easy to differentiate between all these waveforms. And let us keep it a little closer. Now let us run the circuit. Top and let's observe the waveform okay so what we did over here our reference 2 volt signal we are giving it on non-inverting terminal and triangular wave we are giving it on inverting terminal so let's understand after this point what's happening so after this point the magnitude that we are providing on our non-inverting terminal is higher than the magnitude of inverting terminal so instead of non-inverting and inverting terminal, we will call it as plus terminal and minus terminal. So magnitude at plus terminal is higher than the magnitude at minus terminal and that is why the output that we are getting is plus and that is what you can observe over here. So for this much period of time up to here, for this much period of time, the input at positive is higher than the input at negative. In between these two points, the input at negative terminal is higher than the input at positive terminal and during that period we will get the negative output and over here you can observe that during that period we are getting the negative output. Again in between these two points, the input at positive terminal is higher than the input at negative terminal and that is why we are getting positive output. 
and here we are getting the negative output. So this is what happens when we give our reference DC signal to the non-inverting terminal. Now what we'll do, we'll interchange these two terminals. So So here we have just inverted the connections and now let's run the simulation and observe what we are getting as output. Let's stop it and let's see our reference to volt we are giving it at inverting terminal. So let's observe what output we are getting. So after this point the magnitude of our reference signal which is given at inverting terminal is higher than the magnitude of positive terminal this one. And that is why we are getting negative saturated voltage in output minus 5 volts. And in between these two points, the triangular wave, the magnitude of triangular wave is higher than the reference or we can say the magnitude of positive terminal is higher than the magnitude of negative terminal and that is why we are getting plus 5 volt in output and that is why we are getting plus 5 volt over here. So this is how it makes difference when we connect reference to the inverting and non-inverting terminals. So by comparing these two waveforms of inverting and non-inverting comparator, you can easily differentiate between these two. The output of inverting and non-inverting comparator are complementary outputs. They are complementary to each other. Now the same thing we are going to perform for the sinusoidal waveform. So we will close this thing, we will open it, we will change it to sinusoidal. Hey, before moving ahead, I would like to ask you a quick question and the question is this. After observing this diagram, identify the right circuit for the shown output waveform on your screen, whether the reference is given to the inverting terminal or non-inverting terminal. Write the answer in comments below and let's have verification check whether you have learned anything from this video or not. We'll keep this thing as it is. We'll run this thing. Open it. Stop it and bring it back. And through this waveform, it is very clear that after this point, let's observe after this point, our reference signal is given to the negative terminal or inverting terminal. So our reference is inverting and our triangle uh, sinusoidal waveform it's on positive terminal. So we'll call it as non-inverting terminal. So when we compare these two the magnitude of negative is higher than the magnitude of positive and, and that is why we'll get negative saturated voltage in output and that is what you can observe over here a negative saturated voltage you are getting in output and during this period the magnitude of sinusoidal waveform is higher than the reference and that is why we are getting positive saturated voltage in output 5 volts in output now let me quickly invert the terminals with sinusoidal waveform now let's run the circuit open it stop it and let's observe the waveform. So from here it is clearly visible that we are giving our reference to the positive terminal and sinusoidal to the negative terminal. So after this point our reference is higher which is on positive terminal and our sinusoidal which is given on the negative terminal. So we will get the positive saturated voltage in output because the magnitude of our reference signal which is higher than the sinusoidal wave and that is why we are getting plus 5 volt in output and in between these two points our sinusoidal waveform is higher than the reference signal and the sinusoidal waveform which is given to the negative terminal and that is why we will get the negative 5 volt in output and the same thing you can observe it from here. Hey before moving ahead I would like to ask you a quick question and the question is this after observing this diagram identify the right circuit for the shown output waveform on your screen whether the reference is given to the inverting terminal or non-inverting terminal write the answer in comments below and let's have verification check whether you have learned anything from this video or not you know what in next video we are going to learn op amp as a differential amplifier and that is also very interesting tutorial to learn so do not miss out that tutorial 
the link of that video will be provided in description box below so until we meet again in our next video till the time bye bye